This video is a quick start on Fluent PS library. The library which simplifies the way of interaction with Project Server 2010 via its WCF interface. We'll show how to use Fluent PS to read projects from the project server. For this demo, we are going to create a console application. Call it Fluent PS Test App. Now go to the project properties and change the target framework to .NET 3.5. Also, we have to reference two Fluent PS libraries, Fluent PS and Fluent PS .services DLLs, which can be downloaded from the site fluentps.codeplex.com. Let's create a class for presentation of projects from the project server. Call it my project. Each project has an identifier and a name, so we will add the property of type GUI to our my project class. Besides, we'll add name property to reflect names of projects. Now we have to mark those properties with custom attributes from Fluent PS Attributes namespace. We'll add using for Fluent PS const namespace as well. The UID property should be marked by PS Entity UID field attribute. Fluent PS can operate not only with projects, but with tasks and resources as well. So we should set column name attribute property with corresponding constant. The name of the project is its native field. So we should mark it with PS native field attribute and specify which field it should be mapped at. Now it's time to instantiate services for operating with project server. We'll just copy and paste it from the Fluent PS samples. The source is also available on CodePlex. The only thing we should do is set the generic type of PS project service. We are going to use our newly created class MyProject. Here you can see Log Service, Session Service, PSI Context Service, Lookup Table Service and PS Project Service. Once again, you should use your own type to instantiate project service. Now let's navigate to the PWA site and create a test project. Let's call it Test Project 1. In order to read the newly created project in our application, we have to know its identifier. It can be copied right from the URL of the project details page. We should use get method of project service to read the project data. And now we can output any project information simply using the properties of our project entity.
As you can see, there are project ID and name written to console. In our next videos, we'll show how to deal with custom fields of projects with Fluent PS library.